Hello, it's Blue Orange 22 Trying on a new camera setting? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Uh, but in this video, I want to give you an example of the kind of debate and disagreement that MRAs would have with feminists. And you can see the title, My Problem with Feminism Regarding Toxic Masculinity and Gender Roles. This is the kind of debate that I find feminists to be somewhat hypocritical, or at least not consistent with. And it's the kind of example of why we need an independent men's rights movement. One of the things that feminists say is that a men's rights movement isn't necessary because feminism helps men too. And feminism addresses men's issues too. And the way that feminists say that they address men's issues is by tackling things like gender roles and gender stereotypes and the way that both women and men are restricted and harmed by society's gender roles and society's gender stereotypes. And the big example they give is toxic masculinity and the way that toxic masculinity causes lots of problems for men by restricting the things that men are able to do in society and what a man's role is in society and especially the way that men aren't able to express themselves and the way that society shames men for expressing emotions. But here's the thing, by being an MRA and by talking about men's rights, that is me expressing myself as a man. That's me saying what I think and what do I experience. So if feminists say that they think men should be able to express themselves, then what's wrong with a man saying, okay, I want to talk about my experiences and things that happened to me and I want to talk about the men's rights movement and I want to be an MRA. Well, all of a sudden, feminists have a huge problem with that and they start saying, no, that's wrong. You can't say that. You shouldn't say that. And the men's rights movement shouldn't exist. But hang on. I thought you just said that part of toxic masculinity is how men are restricted from being able to express themselves and that gender roles kind of lock men into this, you know, uh, masculine state where they can't express their feelings. But now, if a man does say what he thinks as an MRA, feminists attack him for it. So when they say that they think men should be able to express themselves and when they're against toxic masculinity, it seems like what that really means is only in the way that they approve of and only on their own terms, only in ways that feminists approve of and feminists kind of have control of. It's like if a man tries to talk about men's issues, but he doesn't do it under the narrative or principles of feminism, he's immediately attacked. But why is that? Because shouldn't men's issues be talked about by men? Shouldn't it kind of be the people who experience those issues be the ones say, hey, listen, this is what's happening. And this is happening to us. And this is affecting us. And we would like to talk about that. I kind of find that sort of hypocritical. And then when you start talking about some issues that MREs talk about, I find that feminists are very hypocritical when it comes to talking about gender roles and gender stereotypes. For example, let's take domestic violence and male victims of domestic violence. This is something that MRAs and feminists debate all the time. MRAs say that men's, men, male victims of domestic violence exist, sorry, and they should be taken seriously. They should be recognized. They should be given, you know, equal rights. We're not saying that it's exactly the same between men and women. We're just saying, listen, it does happen to men. And there is a stigma against male victims. There's like, society doesn't really take male victims all that seriously. Even though, as you saw in the Johnny Depp video, in my last video, men actually can get injured. Like a woman can pick up a knife or a gun and injure or murder her boyfriend or husband. I mean, that can happen. And that does happen. But feminists are very hostile to the idea of recognizing male victims. They're always very reluctant or even kind of in denial that male victims even exist. And I've done some videos in the past and I'll do some videos in the future showing examples of feminist organizations actually speaking out against legal rights for male victims. But why is that? If feminists were really against gender stereotypes and gender roles, 
then surely they would recognize that either gender can be a victim. Because by saying that men can't be victims, isn't that kind of perpetuating and defending gender stereotypes? I mean, isn't that literally an example of a gender stereotype? And this happens a lot when we debate feminists about many different kinds of topics. And it's why MRA say, listen, we're not against the idea of a women's rights movement. We agree with rights for everybody. We're just saying that the men's rights movement kind of deserves to be its own thing because the people who are actually affected by things should be the ones who talk about them. I don't really see how that's like an alt-right or a fascist or, or a misogynistic idea. To me, honestly, it just kind of makes sense. It just seems fair.